The Julong Mountain Nature Reserve is one of the few areas in eastern China that retains its original native vegetation. We are installing surveillance equipment in the nature reserve for environmental monitoring and emergency sensing. In this installation project, the biggest challenge we have is transportation. Vehicles can't reach the sites, which can only be accessed by mountain trails. If we carry by hand, it's hard to stay on schedule. In one trip, we carry 25 to 30 kilograms, and it's one trip per day. It's just that hot out. It's too much for a human being. Also, it's really expensive. For example, one of the materials we need, a bag of cement, costs 20 to 30 yuan. But to carry it up the mountain, it can cost 400 yuan. Now we use drones for delivery, which helps us save a lot of time. It's 20 times more efficient than carrying by hand and has hugely brought down our project costs. I would need to hire 40 workers to match the volume of the drone. The wage bill would be scary. More important is worker safety. When using drones, it's safer and more convenient. The drone has cargo mode and winch mode. When transporting smaller materials, like cement or gravel, we use the cargo case. If some pieces are big or bulky and can't fit into the cargo case, we use winch mode to handle the delivery. For the whole operation this time, we used a flight routing. We just needed to create the flight routing and the drone automatically follows it. Because the takeoff and delivery sites are far apart and because there are several mountings between, we used dual operator mode to make the process more efficient and safe. With drones today, we have substantially boosted our productivity, allowing us to better protect this nature reserve and minimize human impact on the environment.